Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Now today is a very important video. See, I'm gonna show you guys how to load your boat. I know a lot of you guys need to watch this. No offense, but I mean, let's face it. Loading your boat is not easy. I've seen a lot of relationships have uh, been broken apart trying to load your boat. I mean, like literally, I've seen it. Jeez. Uh, guys, don't be yelling at your wives. <laughs> wives, just calm down. Loading your boat can be tricky. It was really hard for me at first. It took me a while to get it. But finally, I started watching the uh, charter captains who've been doing this a while. And I kind of learned the tricks and uh, just kind of got it figured out. Now it's not such a big deal. So I want to share it with you guys to see if I can help you guys out. First ramp, uh, kind of tricky, okay? This one is um, pretty tough because it has a strong cross current. So as you can see in the background, we have a boat ramp, okay? So this boat ramp, um, you got your ramp here, you got your two docks on either side, and you usually got a cross current. It's either coming across this way or going that way, one or the other. Now, what I see a lot of boats do, what I used to do, which is a mistake, is they try to, they got their boat lined up this way, their boat trailer. They take their boat from down across the channel and they try to drive their boat all the way up and hit the trailer. But the problem is you got a cross current so when they start going up, they're going, 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 and they're starting to veer off. So they turn their boat, and they turn their boat. By the time they get to the ramp, they're sideways. Here's the trick. The trick is the current is strongest in the middle. But as you get closer to land, to the ramp, the current's not very strong at all. And the good thing about this ramp is the ramp is actually blocked off. So once you make this turn, there is no current. So the trick is what you do is say the current's moving this way, your boat's on this side of the ramp, and what you'll do is you'll drive into the current, but you'll just kick off the ramp. You're not gonna go way out in the current where the, where the water's running fastest. You're gonna stay close to the ramp, and you're just gonna go forward, forward, and then when you get to your trailer, you're just gonna turn in. Now, at first thought, you're like, oh, turning in, that's gonna be even harder. But it's not because the current's not bad. You just turn in. If you overshoot it, okay, remember the current's slightly moving this way, not bad. So if you overshoot it, just kind of stop, you know, maybe get a little reverse back this way and then go forward. If you don't go far enough, just back up a little, kick it in a little more, and then go to the right. When I'm loading the boat, I'm at a 30 foot boat, twin engines, I'm going slow, okay? Literally, when I kick off the dock, I got both motors in idle, just as slow as they can go forward. Okay, when I turn in, I may take one of them out of gear. Usually if I'm turning this way, I'll take the inside one out, the outside helps it turn better. So I'll turn into the trailer like that. Once I see I'm, I'm in the trailer, like within the white poles, I'll put it in neutral, maybe even a little reverse, just to let it coast up on the trailer. You're not ramming the trailer, you don't wanna hit it fast. You know, you're going idle and, and idle is still pretty fast. It can be three or four miles per hour, you know, in, in our boat. So that's why I'll put it in one motor and then eventually just when I see I'm, I'm right where I need to be, I'll just put it in neutral and it'll just ease up onto the bunkers. Then my dad will be up front. He'll kind of, you know, guide me like if I need to go slightly one side or the other, then I'll throttle it up slowly till I get up onto the trailer completely. And even then, when I give it you know, throttle, I may only go like a thousand RPMs, just enough to slowly ease up that ramp. So many people go in so fast, and that's when they tear stuff up, and then you don't have time to react. Just take it slow. You can go slower than you think.
The next ramp, this is uh, another one that can have a bit of a current, but it's kind of at a wider part of the river, so the current's usually not too bad. Uh, it's sheltered on the sides, which is good. So on this one, uh, same thing applies. I'll just kick off, uh, go into the current, and just turn in, okay? Taking it slow, nice and easy. Um, you know, you don't have to like quickly react, you know, boats are sluggish, but you have more time than you think. Now I want to point out something on this ramp, this particular occasion. See how you got these two boats on either side of the ramp? It's a big no-no, okay? That's bad etiquette, okay? If you're a boater, don't do that. There's plenty of room on the front of the dock. These guys can walk their boat over and tie up there, but they tied up on either side, so now only one truck can pull in right in the middle. You could fit three on a, three, three, three trailers down this ramp, but these guys are parked on either side blocking it, okay? You, you may say, well, I gotta park the truck. Well, it's fine. Just bring your boat a little further around to the front and tie it up there. Now, this is good etiquette, and even if you don't care about no one else, which sucks, <laughs> Bad, shame on you, even if you don't care on no one else, think about it this way. If you park your boat here and here, that just leaves a narrow window for someone to load their trailer. Now, I can make it work. I've done it a lot. But a rookie is probably going to bang into your boat. Do you really want someone banging into your boat? You know, you look a day later, you get back from your trip, like, wow, where did I get this ding or this crack in my gel coat? Well, you parked it in a spot that was more likely to get hit by a bad driver, which we know there are plenty of bad drivers at the boat ramp key is to take it slow. It seems like people go in there too fast and they think they're not going to make it and go even faster and bad stuff happens. Okay, nice and easy. past this boat and I hook it to the right a little bit. Nice and easy. Only one motor in gear. A little to the right. Back off a little bit just so I don't hit it too. Okay. Let's get straight. Give it some gas. itself. There we go. Shut off the motors. Tilt up the motors. If you have a four stroke, don't leave your motor motors running. A little boat where you don't have quite as much control with the twin engines, it's smaller so it's easier to manhandle. So I'm here back in the river there's no current here, so I don't have to worry about turning in. And if you're at one of the other ramps and they're just, you know, you're at slack tide, well, yeah, you can drive straight up. It's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about the turn. But if there's a strong current, then you need to stay close and make that turn. But on this little boat, little ramp, I'm just pushing off. Again, I'm just, just barely in gear. I'm, I'm as slow as I can go in gear. I come up to it, and when I get right up close to the ramp or to the trailer, and I see that I'm going to, you know, go where I want to go, right on the trailer in between the poles. I'll put it in neutral and maybe even a little reverse just so I ease up on the trailer. If you leave it in gear, you're going to hit it harder than you think. So just keep it nice and slow and simple. With these little boats, you know, if you're, if you're not quite lined up, that's okay. Usually the guy up front can kind of ease you over. And if he can't ease you over manually, just go ahead and stretch out that cable start cranking. You can give it a little gas if you need to help it, but that cable is gonna pull you right to the center. The last one, this one was tough. This was probably the hardest boat ramp I've had in several years. We tried a new ramp, it got rebuilt after a couple hurricanes ago. And 
what was crazy was we just had a tropical storm go through. So we had really strong tides. The wind was blowing literally 20, 25 miles per hour. We were just out in the river red fishing. So we have a strong wind. We have a crazy strong current. And at the ramp, it's just got wooden slats. So even when you pull into the ramp, this part right here, the water's kicking it. It's really hard. You know, on a small boat, you can just walk it around, you know, just have some guy with a rope to help pull you in, easily push yourself up. That's what I'd say to do with a small boat. But with that big boat, with the current and wind, you can't really manhandle it. Like what I did was, it was kind of rough, not as smooth as I would like, but same thing, I went into the current, I had to overshoot it a little bit because that current was gonna quickly take me in. Turn left, and I, I didn't get it quite as straight on as I would like, but once I got onto the trailer, you know, use those guides to help you get on, I kind of throttled it over a little bit, got it somewhat corrected, and we were good to go. Probably hardest boat loading yet. Got like 20 mile an hour winds because of the tropical storm. Current's coming out on a different dock. So this will be interesting for sure. Barely get off the dock. Just gonna take it nice and slow. Stay close. Despite this very strong current, it is not as bad as further out. Yeah, I've overshot it. the bunkers and your guides are in the right spot that'll make it easier you know just setting your trailer up to load easier will help you you know to load your boat hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys learned something from our different angles seeing how we do it in the description but if you got any other questions let me know we'll try to help you out as best we can just relax have a good time you know practice pay attention you'll learn over time get better and just take it slow Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time.